For, for the average voter, the most important issue, of course, is the economy. Uh, even though uh, Donald Trump has people talking about immigration and other kinds of issues about uh, uh, who uses what bathroom, uh, the primary issue that most people are concerned about is the economy. And two-thirds of the American people believe the economy is on the wrong track. Uh, and Hillary's offering no real criticism about Obama, uh, major or even minor. And if you believe that uh, uh, the country's on the wrong track, why is it that you'd want somebody who's essentially running for the third term of Obama to be elected? Um, and the fact is that we are overtaxed, overregulated. Uh, the government is, is too intrusive. And we put on um, new taxes. We put on a, a brand new entitlement known as Obamacare on the backs of the American uh, job creator. Uh, to say nothing about the unleashing of the EPA and the attack on the coal and fossil fuel industries. You add it all up and we have the worst uh, performing recovery uh, in the lifetimes of most people. Obama will be the first president to ever re to, to preside over a recovery where not one year is 3 percent. His recovery has been less than 2 percent. Now that may, that may sound like a small amount, 2 percent between 3 percent, but for every 1 percent of growth, you're talking about a million jobs times the number of years of the recovery. So had this just been an average recovery, there'd be anywhere from 5 to 7 million more jobs right now, let alone if this had been a Reagan-type recovery, uh, which was about uh, twice uh, that, at 4 percent. And Ronald Reagan did the opposite of what Obama did. Ronald Reagan dramatically cut taxes. He slowed down the rate of government spending. Uh, and he uh, continued deregulation policies that had begun by the private uh, previous administration. Obama has done the opposite, and the opposite has produced the opposite results. So that is the, uh, the issue that most people are concerned about. Are also, freedoms are under assault. Hollywood, academia, and media are all conspiring to brainwash America into believing that there's a free lunch, and these SOBs over there fill in the blank, whether you're talking about Republicans or the Tea Party or, or uh, Uncle Tom's, are somehow stopping people from eating that free lunch. And that is the battle that we're fighting. And one of the reasons I believe Donald Trump is going to win this election is because he's not PC. Uh, and Donald Trump uh, uh, has at least two major issues that I think conservatives can get behind. One is securing the borders. Do I believe he'll build a wall? No, I don't. Do I believe he'll get Mexico to pay for it? No, I don't. But I do believe that he'll do something about policing the borders and making sure that we, we stop this sieve, and he'll do something about catch and release, and he'll do something about sanctuary cities, and maybe, just maybe, we can have a debate in our country about whether or not if you are here illegally and you have a child, that child should be an American citizen. The other issue that I think he's going to bring to the table uh, that I think is very important is the Supreme Court uh, justices. Uh, he has said that he wants justices in the mold of Antonin Scalia and Clarence Thomas, uh, whereas Hillary, we know what she's going to do. Uh, we're going to get anywhere from one to three, maybe even four more Ruth Bader Ginsburgs. Uh, right now, the Supreme Court ruled 5-4, overturning a law in Washington, D.C. that essentially said you cannot have a handgun in your own home. Think about that. Four justices were okay with saying uh, that under the Second Amendment you can prevent somebody from having a gun in his or her own home. We're that one vote away from losing the right to keep and bear arms. And there are a number of other major cases that are uh, hung in the balance. And to have another left-wing person appoint one, two, or three more Supreme Court justices means freedom is gone. Uh, probably forever in this country. So those are two major reasons why I believe the Republican Party will eventually get behind Donald Trump uh, and the economy uh, will drive uh, this election and will prevent Hillary uh, from becoming the third term of Obama.